Nick Carter has been granted a temporary restraining order against younger brother Aaron after alleging he threatened to kill Nick's pregnant wife. The singer said the legal move came in light of Aaron's increasingly alarming behavior. Aaron must now stay at least 100 feet away from Nick, his family, and their Las Vegas home. In response, Aaron Carter um, said he was astounded by the accusation, and he went on to say, I do not wish harm to anyone, especially my family. So, I mean, like if I usually say, when it comes to family matter, it's, uh, it's dicey to interfere, but mm. it's also heartbreaking when um, family issues cannot be settled inside and then it has to go to the court and all that. But it is what it is. I'm not going to say it's wrong to go to court and all that. If there is an issue and that's the only way you think you can get help or get it solved or at least be safe, then I mean, it's, it's a legal option for you to follow. But... I wish they find peace. And um, Aaron has come on Twitter to say, I think he's saying he's done with them, yeah, he that this is the height. in four years and it does not have to plan of Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, from what I read also, I think they were saying this off the back of the interview he granted on a particular show where he talked about his mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And he has also come out to say that the, the show was edited or something. And then the owners of the show are saying, no, he it wasn't <laughs> edited. So, um, if he had, if he has um, if, uh, mental health issues, he should probably get the right help. I mean, you're in an environment where I think according people... to the show, it's bipolar. <laughs> uh, no, no, bipolar wasn't mentioned, but there's so many other mental health issues that was mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't think um, restraining other can actually keep you safe from somebody that is mentally ill, mm. to be honest. Mm. Because they really don't care. If you don't want to hurt, hurt someone, it has to be like your personal decision. But at that point, something just happened. It's not himself. He just wants to do something. Mm. And you can't really keep somebody away with restraining other. If, what happens with restraining other is if you get to this person, we arrest you. Mm. But if I get to this person and I kill that person, you arrest me, and then you check my mental health and you see that I'm not all right. At mm. the end of the day, nothing will be done. The dead is dead. Mm. And I mean, for somebody that flaunts is gone in videos and everything, and you know well that he's not mentally okay, I think they should just put him under maybe an house arrest or something because it's, it's a serious threat to um, security over the, um, around him. He can well, but he's saying he's still and... allegedly that he's not a threat. So, <laughs> 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 like I said, it's a family issue and it's disturbing. But if I. Being bipolar was one of the main issues that was raised in this particular story because um, when it was on the doctor's show, um, the show where they did a test and they discovered that he was using a couple of drugs like uh, something for Zane, I, I can't remember the full um, terminology right now, but um, they discovered that he was using about two different drugs and he checked himself into a mental health facility in 2018 and he's saying that he's improving now like Ewa also said um, he has been flaunting his guns his gun collection and all of that and um, the fact that he openly said that um, he has the intention of harming um, Nick's wife and the unborn child which is um, something serious so a restraining order even though this is a family issue a restraining order is just appropriate because if you have been on a show even though you try to say it was doctored we all watched the show i went back to watch the show and i saw his behavior it was very erratic it was very unbalanced it was imbalanced it was very um how do i put it he had split personality and that's the basic definition of bipolar. And um, if he's saying goodbye to his brother, I think it's only right. And it's just it's not just um, Nick. Nick was from the Backstreet Boys. Aaron is an independent artist that has been making things happen in America. And Nick happens to be his elder brother, right? And um, at the end of the day, the both of them, they want to go their separate ways because you feel someone is a threat to my family. And like I always say, family is everything. You always have to look out for your family. So regardless of whether you think, oh, this person is bipolar, this person has a mental illness, whether, but the moment you bring any form of threat or shade to my family, that's the end. Whether you're my brother, whether you're my sister, whether you're my father, whether you're my mother. Do you understand? It don't matter who you be. But as long as I see you as a threat, that's the most important important thing my family my immediate family and protection and making sure their safety is guaranteed so I have nothing against Nick